Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Fortnite Season 3 or the Collision Live event are literally both just a matter of hours away when I'm recording this video. With that said, now its hype is ultimately at an all-time high, and no, Peely, I'm not talking about that dance. We literally have everything in today's video to do with the Collision event, what's going to be happening during it to prepare you guys for what's upcoming, because believe me, this live event is going to be crazy, as data miners have not only come out with more leaks to do with us piloting or co-piloting the mech alongside the Paradigm, but to further back this up, Epic Games have been releasing teasers across social media in the form of pictures and also trailers. On top of that too, don't forget about the next season leaks, which I'm sure some of you guys will have seen. Well, believe it or not, there's even more, which is vital you stick around until the end of today's video. Believe it or not, this could get you a free Season 3 Battle Pass, as I'll be hiding a 1000 V-Bucks code at a random split-second moment of this video, so keep a lookout. And speaking of favours you can do for me, especially if you're planning on suiting up for the live event with the Mecha Weapons Team Bundle that's just released in the item shop, as this takes 2 seconds and is 100% free to do, is enter code FM13 digits right now inside the Fortnite item shop. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face, but cheers up my pug Gus too, who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers, and after all, it only benefits you as I do get different subscribers every single day, which as you can imagine, very soon is going to be hundreds of the Season 3 Battle Pass. So if you ever want to receive something, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with that said, now enough messing around, we've got so much new live event intel to go over alongside Season 3, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Not, I'm sitting on my don't go anywhere. Okay, so to start out with, in terms of the live event, when it's going to be actually occurring on June 4th, as it goes directly into downtime, and the next thing of Fortnite we see after that is Season 3. For me in the UK, it's going to be happening at 9pm GMT, but all the other time zones or various others are on screen right now, so feel free to pause the video and obviously observe for which time zone you're in. I figured I'd need to mention that considering, yes, the countdown timer is still not above the collider, which is what we're going to be going near, and I'm guessing the zone will close in on this once the LTM is implemented for the live event, which you guys should be entering 30 minutes early to secure your spot of not only witnessing, but being involved in the collision event, fighting off the imagined order to save this reality from them once and for all. Upon entering the LTM, this animation will occur, so do not be alarmed, as it's a different way we've entered a game mode, despite just going into a loading screen and then appearing on Spawn Island. As of right now, it's unknown if we're going to be appearing outside this glass on the Ice Moon, as you can see in the lobby, as ultimately this is the location of where the Seven have set up base, and believe it or not, where the Paradigm or Singularity fled to after the final showdown, to then keep all of the parts of the Mecha Team Leader, which now has been recommissioned this season by her and is fully constructed in a revamped way. Speaking of this reconstruction process, despite us being able to physically see it with the hotfixes made in lobby, even though they haven't been able to hotfix this timer that's literally only visible in replay mode, the Collider, sorry Epic Games, but I think he's took an L on that one. We've not only now had the second part to this kind of small teaser trailer that was three seconds long, of the Mecha Weapons Team Bundle released, which literally kind of resembles the end event opening, and also the overall cinematic, you know, before we went into the end event for the end of Chapter 2, has in this cinematic a door opens, revealing four characters from the behind, again just like in the end event, which are the Mecha Weapons Team Bundle, or the bundle that's just released in the item shop right now, also showcasing after that Paradigm actually constructing or ordering the construction of the final piece onto the Mecha Team Leader, or should I say the Mecha Strike Commander as it's been revamped as now, which of course for those that don't know too is the June Crew Pack with all the other cosmetics coming along with it that you're seeing on screen right now. And with this trailer for the first time showing us off officially from Fortnite the new version of the Paradigm which now has a revamped suit from the prior one which released in Chapter 1 Season X for a limited time for those that don't know. I'm guessing when you're watching this video this is going to be in the item shop tonight, it would only make sense after all. She's literally the forefront of how we're able to push back the Imagined Order with such a giant robot that she's reconstructed or recommissioned. And with her being in the files right now, ready to release at the flick of a switch, why would Epic Games release her in Season 3 after the events occurred and then all the hypes died down surrounding the Paradise? Small prediction right now too, the Jumpsuit Jones version that we saw on the front of the first artwork asset leaked for the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comics is also in the files and I'm guessing will be releasing alongside her. Moving on from just guessing though, I'm guessing you guys have seen these jigsaw puzzle pieces leaking across social 
social media to form a bigger picture once fully put together. As you can see on screen right now, there's either only one piece missing or you can see the full image. Either way, without that one piece in the top left hand corner when I'm recording, we can not only see the fully constructed Mecha Strike Commander, but the plan of going from the Ice Moon, which was teased in Donald Mustard's bio right here to be the location or the name of it that we currently see in our lobby, what we're on. Going from there in the robot once it's fully constructed, hence why I made the theory of we simply go out onto the Ice Moon once this animation occurs, going into the LTM, all the way to the loop and then obviously fighting off the imagined order to save this reality from complete destruction. Whether we're piloting or co-piloting it, either way we're going to be involved inside the mech as if we're manning it at some point thanks to the origin confirming this in the leaked dialogue quests. If she refuses to help, we'll still need a pilot. And you've proven your loyalty to all of us. Even if the paradigm comes back, she might need a co-pilot. And if that wasn't crazy enough to be happening June 4th for simply logging on this day, which I'm guessing you will be to attend the event, we're also, don't forget, going to be getting some free rewards as mentioned in the article Epic Games released about the event and when it's going to be happening. And considering we've gone on about the event, what's going to be happening from the Ice Moon with the Mecha Strike Commander visiting the island to fight off the Imagined Order, what's going to be happening on the island we actually have leaked early sequences for on this holiday table for completing the most recent quests in the resistance section. You may have actually seen small resemblances to this at the collider if you were lucky enough to catch one of its pulsations as it charges up to ultimately start this event or get ready for it. Of course from comparing this to the hologram table it looks like this is going to be happening again to directly start the event once it's fully charged but then there seems to be an energy ball going up into the middle of it which I'm guessing is the zero point. As it states again in this live event article Epic Games release the fate of the zero point will be decided in this one time in game event collision. And if things weren't already crazy enough with us now being introduced to a new area outside the loop being the Ice Moon that the Seven actually have a base on, a brand new giant mecha robot fully constructed by a new version of the Paradigm, and the fate of the Zero Point being fought for in two different ways from the side of the imagined Order or the Seven, it goes without saying it's not unexpected that as Fire Monkey states right here, Night Knight has been re-added to the game files for the Armadillo event which is codenamed for the Collision event in the files, and for those who are unaware this is what activates the To Be Continued screen for the end of the season or in the next season or the black hole screens. Two of these I can vividly remember is after the Galactus live event to be continued in season 5 and then the one after the Operation Skyfire live event where we got to be continued in season 8. And just before we hop onto season 3 here are all the leaked gameplay sequences which actually not only show again or prove that we're going to be inside the loop at one point on the Fortnite island fighting the imagined order but also outside of it considering there's particular coding actually referring to not only the moon but a moon pod and us entering it and exiting out of it. And before I forget to mention considering the title of this trailer that Fortnite released and its resemblances to the last end event we saw going into a brand new chapter obviously being the chapter 2 end event itself in season 8. As it states end event in the title of this new teaser for the collision live event I said yeah what happens if we go straight into chapter 4 if they're ultimately planning on ending it off. After all for those that don't remember before we knew about chapter 3 being a thing in season 8 Donald must have referred to Chapter 3 Season 1 and Chapter 3 Season 2 as his two favourite parts after Season 8 was obviously happening and the live event occurring. Whatever happens however with each live event of course linking directly to the next season cinematic trailer, with it being revealed that this is going to be taking place also outside the loop on the Ice Moon and going into the loop in this Fortnite multiverse that's now been constructed from all the collaborations, I believe this is what will attract the attention of Darth Vader from within this multiverse itself, arriving then on the Fortnite Island due to well the chaos that's been caused or disturbance and for those that didn't know Darth Vader was upcoming it was revealed literally in this Unreal Engine broadcast where there was a folder stating not only C3S3 underscore Vader but C3S3 underscore Jones which of course considering the Mecha Strike Commander is the June crew pack confirming that this image is real everything else on it not just Darth Vader being a skin in the battle pass but Indiana Jones even being the coming soon section skin like we have Prowler this season. Darth Vader I'm guessing is going to be the level 100 skin on page 10 or the last thing that we can buy through the Battlestar system if this actually is in Season 3. I'd prefer it if they went back to the style of Chapter 2 Season 2 where we got this Battle Pass menu that was interactive and we could actually complete challenges in, which at the time of course contributed to unlocking the infamous Deadpool skin. And one final thing I'll say about this Battle Pass image now as it's confirmed to be real is they've finally added this skin off the survey which people speculated would be a Nintendo Switch exclusive due to the colour scheme. Of course for those that don't know, Epic Games put out these surveys and obviously the most desired or voted for or whatever 
whatever they actually end up adding into game off of this concept sheet and obviously here are all of the choices that you can choose between on screen right now. I figured I'd show you guys these considering on the battle pass image itself it only reveals actually 6 skins that we're going to be getting and for those who don't know in each battle pass we typically get around 7 or 8 outfits so there's maybe 1 or 2 yet to be revealed. Speaking of season 3 and what has been revealed however for those that don't know each season the Nintendo eShop is infamous for actually revealing well our first look or image tease toward an upcoming season and believe it or not those image assets for Fortnite have been updated now for season 3. Of course in the form of the battle bus teasers that we do see one of every season with a different background or colour scheme and as you can see right here it seems to be even more of a sunsetting kind of red hue sky than our prior one for season 2 which Tabor Hill actually said the colour of the sky was important for so maybe we'll find out the reason for not only that coloured sky for season 2 but this coloured sky now for this season 3 teaser in season 3 once the live event has occurred and the servers go live again and considering Colombos haven't returned in time for season 3's downtime commencing anyways fingers crossed when servers are re-enabled once the new season has released we get these beautiful wildlife creatures back on the island however it was also leaked that once they return they're going to be eliminator bull and drop a tremendous amount of loot also giving us an incentive for doing so and despite all of the Colombo quests up until now teasing that they are going to be returning for those that don't know a recent Colombo quest that was updated as Fire Monkey states right here is an event flag for those that haven't seen which doesn't require us to do anything but has moved all the Colombo mounds closer to the collider so maybe even they're involved in the live event I guess we'll have to wait and see. For more instantaneous leaks and updates that pour out now until the live event and season 3 make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and drop a like in today's video if you enjoyed this. But speaking of other videos on your next destination now make sure to interact with anything on screen I don't mind but most importantly hopefully I can catch you in the very next video I post on the channel.